Hi, good afternoon everyone. It's Friday the 15th of May and hopefully over the weekend we might hear uh, some more easing of restrictions that might be coming up soon. But there are a number of changes which commence from midnight tonight and rather than go over them again now, if you wanted to know what those were, you could uh, click on yesterday's update and I outlined some of those changes in my update yesterday. Uh, but probably the main one is that we can go 150 kilometres from home for recreational activities, which is a big difference uh, for those of us on the Sunshine Coast here who like to go out for a picnic or uh, up to the beach or do something outdoorsy. So that's a fantastic uh, change that's happening from midnight tonight. So hopefully this weekend the weather's fine and we can all uh, get out with our families and maybe even see a couple of friends now. So you can have 10 people at home uh, and they can be from different uh, families or different homes now. So some things are changing and that's all as a result of the way in which you and everybody else uh, currently in Queensland and Australia is following the guidelines, keeping their social distancing. Uh, all of the things that we are asking people to do are being followed, which has allowed the government to lift some of those restrictions. So uh, well done everybody and can I also thank you for the way in which you're working with us at school. We've had a lot of parents uh, who have come through to pick up the home learning packs who have been uh, talking to us about their appreciation and gratitude for the way in which our school has worked to support families through this period of time. So the combination of having the uh, home learning packs uh, picked up to the website, to the updates, to the phone calls home, all of those things which uh, you will know that we've done in a very planned way right from the start. We had a, a three stages approach to how we're going to work through, through this given that there was some unknown territory. Uh, the main thing as we went through, we listened to what the government was saying. We also got some feedback from you as parents and I'd like to think that we've um, been able to respond in an appropriate way to those to assist in the best way that we can. So uh, I'm, I'm very thankful for the way in which you've responded to our requests and I hope that you are confident and happy with how we've tried to meet your needs in this past few weeks. Next week is going to be a bit tricky. So I, I do want to talk to you again about empathy uh, and talking to your children uh, as the restrictions are lifted and how they talk about their feelings because we can't really predict how students are going to, or young people in general, are going to respond to lifting of restrictions, transitioning back to school and all of those sorts of things and after all the news and, and media around COVID-19. So again, can I ask you to talk to them uh, in re and trying to understand their expressions, their moods, and get them to talk to you about that. So if they're being happy, um, you know, say, look, oh, you looked really happy today or this morning, or what were you thinking about then, or what's going through your mind? What are you most looking forward to when you go back to school? Most of them are going to say, oh, to be back with my friends. They're probably not going to say to be back in class doing my work. That's probably not what they'll say. But uh, all in all, I'm hoping that they are looking forward to coming back. I know we are really looking forward to them come back and uh, given this has meant a, a lot more work than normal, uh, which has been difficult, but very rewarding in terms of the appreciation that you've been showing us. The last thing I want to really talk about today is supporting our local businesses, particularly the small businesses and the, you know, like the single family businesses. So if you do have an opportunity or you see that they're open or if it's a coffee shop or a cafe or a restaurant uh, which is open, and you, it would be really great if we can visit those places. And I know that they can only have up to 10 people at a time, most of them, but it'd be really good if we can start supporting our local businesses to get back on their feet. It'll be better for them, it'll be better for the economy, and in the end, it'll be better for all of us. So uh, we can do that in two ways. One, we can do that in terms of going you know, and buying things or, or going to visit them and being a customer. One of the really great ways that we can do that is actually uh, in terms of how we conduct ourselves when we go to the businesses. 
One of the things that's going to be difficult for all of us is being patient because as you and I know, when you go to the shops now and, you, and sometimes you have to queue up because only a certain number are allowed in, inside and you're in a line uh, and, and sometimes it's taking a bit of time to, to actually get into the store. Sometimes you get really, people get impatient and they either leave or they start making comments about people inside, why don't they hurry up or, you know, oh, they could have served that person better. At the end of the day, nobody who owns a shop wants to uh, just waste time to, and have customers waiting outside. That's not what they want to do. So can we please just be uh, courteous and use our manners? And and I think when we talked about being in this in this situation with COVID-19 and we're talking about, you know, we're all in it together. And as I've said a few times, let's come out of it together. Uh, let's keep that, you know, the gratitude, the kindness, the, the manners and appreciation uh, as we can, as we interact more with each other, uh, as we come out of, of this and hopefully following the guidelines that we're given by the health department, that we're able to stay in that uh, future zone of having less restrictions because if we don't follow those guidelines, we could be back uh, with things being tightened and, and really nobody wants that. So look, have a really great weekend. I hope you get outdoors with your kids uh, for a little while and, and enjoy the sunshine on the Sunshine Coast. And I look forward to talking with you on Monday where hopefully I'll have some updates about what's gonna happen in week six in terms of returning to school and what that might look like. So have a great weekend, everybody.